Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Ferocious Corporate Competitiveness. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload one. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help get the word out. Now, let's get started. Major corporations have always been extremely competitive in the past, but now things are different. Now we're seeing a level of corporate barbarism and blatant illegality and ferocity that rivals or exceeds what the world has seen from organized crime groups and even street gangs as of late. Now there is no longer the pretext of pretending not to engage in unlawful behavior. Now, even if they get caught engaging in criminal or unethical behavior, they don't deny it. They just switch law firms or PR firms and keep on going. Here are some examples. It's been reported that electric vehicle car manufacturers whose cars are bursting into flames on the roads aren't even trying to fix the problem as of late. They simply send a special high-speed public relations response team to talk to the car owners and the reporters and the first responders to try and kill that story as fast as they can. Next, we have universities with multi-billion dollar endowments trying to solicit more donations at a time when the universities themselves have more money in the bank than the companies they're soliciting funding from. It's a bizarre world out there. The age of logic and reason and uh, legality are now distant memories. We now live in an era of the complete absence of corporate logic, reason, or legality. It's a crazy time. What's really fascinating is the amount of money these corporations will spend trying to get the public to believe that what they see and hear is not really what happened. It's not just gaslighting that's taking place. It's an elevated new bizarre world of deception by mass repetition, mass gaslighting, mass repetitive gaslighting. They will pay to have their gaslighting messages repeated by the media countless times on countless platforms and countless fake news stories that eventually cause even the greatest doubters to start doubting their own beliefs. Another example of corporate ferocity is the way that they will openly and brazenly manipulate new videos and interviews of all sorts to alter the intent of the actual messaging. This has been going on for decades, but now it is amazingly brazen and out in the open. So now that these companies no longer care about concealing their illegal behavior, how should customers respond? Well, we think that consumers should be more paranoid than ever. Assume everything that you're told by them is a lie and uh, prepare or respond accordingly. Make sure to share the things you become aware of with all your friends and family and social media. Warn everyone about anything that uh, you believe they should know uh, so they can better protect themselves. If you know someone is contemplating the purchase of an EV, then tell them all about the EVs that are bursting into flames or whose batteries lose half their power in cold weather. Are you an inventor or someone who loves coming up with great new ideas for patents? Well, be careful because patented new ideas are now routinely farmed and copied and stolen from the patent offices by agents working on behalf of major corporations. That's why a lot of people who come up with brilliant billion dollar new ideas often won't even patent them because they know how the mega corporations love to circumvent or steal the ideas of other people's patents. Now, of course, we have major platforms trying to steal the facial images and characters of actors by trying to force them to sign their rights away during negotiation of their new contracts. That means you can get a job to appear on, on one episode of a TV show or in a movie, and then that studio permanently acquires the image rights to your face and your likeness and your character, and then they can uh, digitally insert your likeness into countless future shows and never have to pay you a dime. That's a bizarre new form of misbehavior that they're proposing they should get the rights to on a regular basis without ever paying actors again. Next, we have a ferocious new level of customer and consumer mistreatment by the corporations. They will tell you that they won't pay the insurance claim you just made on your car because the car bursting into flames was the manufacturer's fault and not the fault of the insurance company. Get ready, people, because we are entering a new gangster level of corporate misbehavior disguised as fake competitiveness that has never been witnessed before. Good luck. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell 
every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help get the word out. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.